Let's talk about some of the big themes in Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. Literary critics were once divided regarding whether Marlowe and the other white characters in the novella are racist or whether the central racism of the story comes from Conrad himself. In any case, Heart of Darkness reflects the racism of the time, and racism becomes the primary aspect of the novella. Marlowe shows more sympathy for the plight of the native people than he does for the company people who pilfer the land, but he clearly doesn't feel that they're his equals. They are human, he says, and that was the worst of it, this suspicion of their not being inhuman. Marlowe calls the native people savages and cannibals. The jungle is alive with parts, flailing limbs, rolling eyes, stomping feet, and inarticulate noises. And these kinds of recurring images deny individuality and humanity to the Congolese. While the stated goal of the company is to civilize native people, its true goal is to plunder Africa's resources for profit. Greed, however, isn't just about money. Kurtz has an insatiable greed for power, and when his followers feed his ego by worshiping him as they would a god, he becomes corrupt. Kurtz's arrogance is the essence of imperialist logic. White gods have the right to take over peoples, lands, and resources. Everything belongs to the power that can take it. Hypocrisy and indifference. The company is recalling Kurtz, apparently because they find his methods to be excessively brutal. Yet company officials overlook their own brutality in pursuit of ivory. Some in Europe, like Marlowe's aunt, believes that the company represents Christian moral values. Marlowe knows better than his aunt that the company was run for profit. All of the company agents Marlowe encounters in Africa demonstrate that this is their motivation, and they're indifferent to the suffering they impose on the people around them. 